Prayer is conversation with God. And during Lent, we talk about prayer as one of the ways that we can get closer to God as we get closer to Easter. Now, Jesus models how to pray and he gave us words and structures for examples, but there's no one way to pray. Now we make pretzels during Lent each year because long ago, folks typically prayed with their arms crisscrossed. So to reward the children who learned their prayers, monks made pretzel shapes with simple ingredients. There is great value in learning and praying memorized prayers. We pray together the Lord's Prayer every Sunday during worship. And here are a few more favorites. A prayer that I say is thank you for the wind and rain, the sun and pleasant weather. Thank you for the food we are having that we are together. My name is Tamar, and I wanted to share with you the meal prayer that my family and I say together. Uh, we say one in, it's called Jasha Getsuk. It's an Armenian prayer that I said with my family growing up. And we also say another one that in English that my husband grew up saying at mealtime with his family. Okay. Families have different prayers and different prayer practices. Maybe you pray before your meals. Maybe you pray before bed. These are not the only times you can pray though. Miss Sandy told us that she prays when she drives and here are a couple other times that people pray. Where I pray is pretty much anywhere. I do it so that if I'm in a scary time or I need some confidence, it helps me boost my confidence. If you pray at mealtime or bedtime, you probably settle yourself to pray quietly. How I do is I either do this, I do this, I do this, or I sit on my hands. And I pray like this, like pretzel style. But other times, like when Miss Sandy is driving, you may be moving while you're praying. That's okay. You can pray on the sidelines or during a game. You can pray backstage or during a performance. You can pray on the playground or while hiking. God wants to hear from you anytime. And God wants us to listen too. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to get to hear the spoken word of God. We aren't really generally that lucky. But when we pray, we can feel peaceful. We might be able to sense direction of what to do next. And those messages are from God. But we need to take time to listen. If we can take time to listen. I mean, how many people like me have trouble sitting still? Well, this year during Pretzel Sunday, we were on Zoom, so we made pretzels out of Play-Doh. And then I encouraged the children to take their Play-Doh and mold it into something that they were thankful for. So we saw houses, we saw food, they were moving and they were praying. And then I shared praying in color, which is another way to pray. This method was developed by Sybil Macbeth and it was designed for wigglers, not for artists. Here's the idea. Begin with a name for God and write that name and doodle around it. Then consider someone who needs God's care and write that person's name. Doodle around that. As you doodle and color, think about this person's needs and release your worries to God. 
Any resulting peace, comfort, and hope can be named as God's response. Now, I'm interested to know if anybody gave this a try after we met together. If so, let me know. And I'd like to invite everyone, all ages, to join me for a Zoom workshop where we'll try some praying in color exercises together. That will be on Monday, March 29th from 6.30 to 7.30. Look for details in your email or contact me for more information.